What is up YouTube? Dave with KickFam back with yet another video for your viewing pleasures and today is part two of trying to bring back memories of my childhood so my kids can see what I did and what I played with when I was a kid. So, if you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. If you like the content we're putting out, smash that thumbs up. And as always, click that bell so you get notified for whenever we put a video up or a short or anything. You could also follow me at YouTube. I mean, I'm sorry, at Instagram, which would be right about here. So, as you saw in my last video, I went to my storage unit and I brought home all the Nintendo, all my video games that I had. The Nintendo... The PlayStation, the original Nintendo, the original Nintendo NES, Nintendo 64, the Sega, the PlayStation 1, and a PlayStation 2. I brought home five game systems. Since then, I located two more that I had. So, comment down below if you think you can guess the two that I found. Like I showed you in the first video, like I said in the first video... If I had all the cords to go with the systems to play them. So, sit back, watch, like I said, observe, enjoy. Let's get into the video games. Let's see first what games I have for them. Second, if I have all the cords. Third, if they work. And the fourth would be what two systems I found after I stopped recording. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, you see piles of clothes in the back of this video. Don't mind it. We're in the middle of doing wash. Um, but let's go ahead and get to the first system. And, or actually, no, let's bring down, let's see what games we have. Let's see what games we have. So... The first game that I found was for Nintendo 64, which was WWF No Mercy. I played this game like crazy on Nintendo 64 when I was a kid. Um, and that, for some reason, is the only game that I located for my Nintendo 64. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, so the next group of video games that I found were... You know what, let me close these blinds. I think that I'm getting some... This work better. Got a little bit of a quick. Yeah, that works a little bit better. So, the next group of video games that I got were for the Sega Genesis. And these all have the games in them. So, we got Jurassic Park, FIFA Soccer 95, Sonic the Hedgehog Sp Spinball. NBA Jams, Echo the Dolphin, Lethal Enforcers, Gunfighters, Damn. and then one of my personal favorites, Road Rash. They were all the Sega Genesis games I found. I think I might have more. Let me go let me go check one more spot. And then I have none other than NFL football starring Joe Montana, 1994. I would say I probably played this game for Sega more than any other game. That's all for my Sega collection. I don't know where my Sonic the Hedgehog is. Um, there's a bunch of games that I used to have that I can't, that I don't know where at. Um, let's see what, what else, now let's see what else I have. Now, for PlayStation. This is a PlayStation game, which I have Pac-Man World. I have Cool Borders 3, which I played like crazy. I have Test Drive 5. I have Andretti Racing. Go ahead, you can go. I have International Track and Field. 
I have WWF Warzone, which I played like crazy. <laughs> I have Destruction Derby 2. Madden 03. What else? I have NHL 99. I think that might... I don't even know. That might be... in the, I don't know if that's in there. Hold on a second. Let me see if that's in there. Let me see if that's in there. It's kind of hard to get open. Hold on a second. I'm going to put you down. Let me see if it's in there. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Look at that. Damn. I don't think that's going to work. Look at the desk. It got, I guess it got wet and the, it got stuck to the book. Crap. I have to play doctor for that. That might not work. Let me know below if you think that will work. I don't know if that's going to work. Crap. Then I have Hot Shot Goth. Now, if you know anything about PlayStation, Hot Shot Goth was the shiznit growing up. Then, for PlayStation... I don't even... Do I have a... I don't think I have PlayStation. I do have a PlayStation 3 game. And that's UFC 2009. Um, and then I do have a PlayStation 4 game, which was... NHL 2015, which is weird. The only two, the only, now I have a PlayStation 4. That's not one of the game sets that I found at the recording. I knew we had that, but my oldest daughter plays that and it's in her room. So we do have that in the family, um, but that's not one of the systems that I found. So there's two things, two systems that I located at the recording the last video. I am still want you to put it in the comments down below if you know what they are. So, now there's one more there's one more system that we got that has games that I want to show you. So, let me grab that right now. So, the next... Oh, sorry, I put my hand in there. So, the next stack of games that I found that I would like to show you is actually in this box right here. That if you were paying attention in the last video... This box was actually on top of the bookshelf with the DVDs and stuff. So, let's go through this old Nintendo case. So, we have in the top case is where you keep your controllers. I have the original controller, the original gun, the zapper from 1985. Look, it says 1985 right on there. Then, if you go into the bottom one, that's where you kept the games. Look at that. I have another zapper right there. And, oh, crap. I have another 64 game in here. And that is Wipeout 64. Huh. Didn't know that was in there. So, now, here are the video games that I... Here are the video games that I have for Nintendo to NES. We have... Ice hockey, which I love. This ice hockey game was one of my favorites. What else we have? We have WrestleMania, WWF WrestleMania. What else do we have in here? Uh, you know, what? I'll just put them there and then put them back when I'm done. Um, we have Blades of Steel. Got that one. Then we have, then we have NES Play Action Football. One of my favorite games right here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. And then we have not one, but two Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Then we have Batman. And then we have Bases Loaded 2, the second season. 
And then we have Super Mario Brothers 3. So, we used to have Bomberman, which was one of my favorite games. And I'm pretty upset that I can't find that. But, now that you saw all my games that I have, that I was able to find at least, for my systems... Comment down below. Let me know which one of these games was your favorite if you had one. Or which one you would like to play if you didn't have it. Um, and just comment down below what is your favorite video game from when you were a kid if you are about my age, which is late 30s. So, if you are an 80, 90 baby, comment down below. Let me know what video game you spent most of your childhood playing and what system. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these back. And then we'll get back into checking the systems and if I have the cords or not. So that's another thing. Check, comment down below. Let me know if you think I have the cords. So let's go. So here's the first system, which is the Sega. Well, if you guessed right, I don't have all the cords. I'm actually, I got the, I got the power cord, but I'm missing I'm missing the uh, the AV output and input cord. That's what I'm missing. Look, say I'm missing the cords that basically go in the back of the TV, which is a scene. And I, I they got to be somewhere. I got to find it. So if you guessed right, if you guessed at least that, I don't have the cords for the Sega. So one for one. Now. The next one is, hold on a second, the next one is the PlayStation 1, which, if you look, it looks like I have all the cords. Um, the only thing I don't have is a damn paddle. I can't locate my paddles for it. Like, it's like, I, that's two things I have, like, I have... Play, I have the Genesis with no cords to plug it into the TV and no and no paddles. But I, I think I know where the paddles are for my Sega. The PlayStation 1, I have the cords to plug into the TV, but no paddles. So I can't play that. The next, the next one is... Now for the next one, the Nintendo 64. I have both cords. The power outage just fell behind the bookshelf. Um, and then I have the cord that plugs into the TV. But... Another one. I don't have paddles. Like, I, I don't know what is going on. I had all this stuff in one bin. This is driving me crazy. Let's get the next one. Now, this one hurts me the most. The NES system. The Nintendo systems. I have the cords to plug them into the TV. But I don't have the power cords. And the crazy part is... is if I had the power cords, that would be the that would be one of that they would be complete. I have paddles, I have everything. I, I that something I could have been playing right now. I can't win. Now the next one. Let's see the PlayStation. What is it? The PlayStation Two. Let me grab the PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two. As you can see, I have both the power cord and the cord that goes into the TV. Um, I do have paddles for that. And I have games, so, you know what, matter of fact, no, I don't have any PlayStation 2 games. But, if you remember, the PlayStation 1 games were compatible for the PlayStation 2. So, I could play my PlayStation 1 games on my PlayStation 2. So, as you can see, like I said, if you comment down below, I don't have all the cords. And I don't have all the paddles. So here's where I need your help. If you are in the Philadelphia area and you know of any stores that sell any kind of retro video games that goes with any of the stuff that I have, comment down below. Let me know where they're at. Or if you have any of the, any cords laying around and your system broke and you would like to send them to me. Let me know. I, I would greatly appreciate it. I would love to play these games and show my daughters what these video games look like back in the day. 
I know, I know you can buy those little games that have all the games in them, but that's not what I want to do. I want to show my kids the actual systems that I played on. So, if you have anything, comment down below, let me know. Um, if you're selling them, let me know. Uh, we could maybe work out a price, but I would love to be able to show my kids these video games and how they work. Now, I'm going to get into the two systems that I found after I was done recording. The first one, comment down below. Let me know. You need to comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what you think they are. The first one is, the first one was, is a PlayStation 3. I didn't even know I had that, but it was sitting in my basement. I located it, found it. I had the paddles for that. I do have a, I actually have UFC 2009 for that, so I, I have to find some more video games for it. Um, but, like I said, I think all the PlayStation games are compatible from 1 to 3. Um, the only thing with that is I think my daughter lost the cords for it that go to the TV and, and the power out and the power cord when she was bringing it back and forth to her grandmother's house. So, again... If you know anybody that's selling PlayStation 3 cords, let me know. Comment down below. If you know any retro stores in the Philadelphia area, let me know. Greatly appreciate it. Now, the final system that I found is something that you're going to love because I love, especially if you're an 80s or 90 baby. You're going to love because I love. I loved it when I was a kid and I love it now. I'll show you it now. Are you ready for this? Smash that like button if you're ready. If you're ready. I found my original Nintendo Game Boy. And it's even in the bag that I used to carry with it. And guess what? It works. I put AA batteries in it, and it works. Even though I'm missing the back. This thing works. I was playing Super Mario Land the other night. Um, let's go. Let's, let me show you quick games that I have for this. Ready? I have Super Mario Land. I have Tetris. I have Blades of Steel for the Game Boy. What other one? Let's see. I have Mario Goff. I have... What is this? Game Boy NFL Football. I have... This is the WWF Superstars. They're the games I have for Game Boy. So I actually can play my Game Boy right now. So maybe that's what I'll, I I showed my daughter some of that when I first found it. So I'm going to see if she'll get into it. Um, it works. She wasn't too thrilled because she can't, really see she can't really see it. I didn't realize. And now as a kid, as an adult, I didn't realize as a kid how hard the Game Boy was to see while you're playing it. No wonder why they went the Game Boy Color. And the crazy part is, is I don't know how many people had this when they were kids. Ready? I had this. And it's crazy how I, I still have it. But it doesn't work. Ready? I'm going to show you. Ready? The light that slides on so you can play it at night. Ain't that crazy? I still have it. The game light. The Nintendo game light. I don't know if it still works, which I highly doubt it. The light bulb's probably blue. I mean, this thing is from the 80s. So, this is KickFam's video games collection. I would like to build on it more. I would like to keep sharing it with you guys. And I would like for my kids to grow up playing this stuff. So, remember, if you are in the Philadelphia area and you know of any stores that sell retro video game games, systems, cords, paddles, anything, retro video game stuff. Comment the store down below where they're located and I'll go there and I'll take you along with me. And then if you are in the area or if you know if you're selling any of this stuff or if you have any that you're trying to get rid of because you found them and you don't have anything to do with them, message me, comment, email me. My email is in this description below. Email me. And I'll send you my address and we could touch, we could either work out a price 
or if you want to just get rid of them and email and mail them to me, I'll work it out with you. This is Dave with KickFam. I appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, we are back on YouTube. And we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep pushing. Thank you for watching. But I think Mom Dukes wants to show you one thing from when she was a kid. Spice Girls. Ladies. If you remember. hours I spent watching that. Ladies, if you're watching this and you remember Spice World, comment down below. Let me know how many of you ladies wish you were the Spice Girls growing up. And let me know if you still have your Spice World movie or any of the Spice Girl Barbies or anything Spice Girl. Comment down below. Mike, like I said, the wife would love to know. So comment down below. Share with us your retro game stuff, your 80s and 90s stuff, your 80s and 90s beat. And, uh, Thanks for watching. We'll see you.